Two days ago, a Russian convoy carrying the X-5 nuclear warhead got jacked. Yesterday, reliable sources informed us it's made its way to U.S. soil. I'm going to turn Washington, D.C. into a pile of ash. This is a very tall order. We need the best. Get me MacGruber. I'm in. What? I'm in. Hello, MacGruber. I'm putting together a team. It's filled with American heroes with over 100 years of combined combat experience. Lieutenant Piper will be your second in command on this. We believe the X-5 is now in the position of this man. He's untouchable. Oh, I'll touch him, Rookie. I'll touch him wherever I want. Huh? What is the plan? Well, I don't use guns, so I'm going to use homemade explosives that I made with my own two. Oh, no, no, this better not be some kind of joke. Do not underestimate this man. Where have you been? I just took an upper decker in the master bathroom. Upper decker? Guess where you take a number two in the water tank and not in the bowl. You look great. How did you know I was wearing a bulletproof vest? You're wearing a bulletproof vest? Awesome. Have you ever been to DC? No, sir, I haven't. I was talking to the missile. Gruber. Gotcha. <laughs> You're the one he wants to come after. Why can't you be dressed like you? Because you are. Go, go, go. Now remember, Gruber, you got to keep him on the line long enough to get a location. Don't worry. I've done this before. Listen to me, you piece. Did you get it? No. Damn it, is that thing working? Let's move. All right, we got a nuclear warhead. Holy. What's wrong with Gruber? You can defuse it, right? Are you kidding me? Look at all this crap. It's like a million wires in here. More like a three-wire guy. MacGruber. Don't worry, we got your back. We're only seven blocks away, so if anything goes down... Seven blocks? Okay, you got me. About 20 blocks. Wasn't anything closer? Nope. There were tons of spots closer. Yeah, with meters. 